boys, girls, I'm Rich Humboldt, and again, welcome back to Other Robert. And today we're talking Troll Hunters, which is this new DreamWorks animated show on Netflix. Uh, I don't remember ever seeing this on Netflix. A uh, animated show created like this. I mean, we have BoJack Horseman, we have F is for Family, uh, but really a big studio kind of uh, deal here. I, I mean, the animation looks similar to me, at least, looks a lot like How to Train Your Dragon that type of animation, and to see that, especially for 26 episodes, it's interesting, and, and it's a different approach uh, to television, really, and I think this was a wonderful job, a wonderful first foray, kind of, into this um, this field, really, with doing what you expect with their movies, but in, in the form of TV, because for the past few years, in my opinion, at least, television has been dominating movies, and television's been growing and growing. I think this was a decision that was smart to kind of cross that that field to television, and especially Netflix. So they jumped on the Netflix kind of wagon here. Netflix is bringing out all kinds of great, great shows. I'm going to be doing my list, uh, top five TV shows of 2016, and there will definitely be a couple of Netflix originals on there. Netflix is killing it. So for uh, DreamWorks to do Troll Hunters on Netflix and to be working on uh, Guillermo del Toro had a huge part in this. It had all the makings of a great show, and in my opinion, that's what we got. And I'm really hoping they, they give this a season two. This was, and this is going to sound like an insult, but it's not, and I'll explain why. This was like a DreamWorks movie extended into a, like four times its size, uh, extended into hours and hours of the movie, which... It sounds like it could drag, but I mean, that's what you kind of get with TV shows. You, you get kind of these longer um, experiences than when you're in a movie. And what they were able to do here, which all, all of us have seen DreamWorks movies, right? We, we kind of know what to expect a little bit. This took that formula, but really got to expand on it and really milk it out and really go deep with uh, what you had here. This could have been a movie. This definitely could have been a movie. It would have been a movie. It would have been... A pretty good movie however it excelled as a television show you got 26 episodes uh, around 23 minutes a piece of what essentially you'd see in the movie it, it feels like the first few episodes it feels like you've seen it before but you haven't because of how deep they can go and how many stories they can tell with the same set of characters which I mean yeah that's television in general right but to see DreamWorks do it and to see it with this animation it's just so rich and it's a, a storytelling device that we really haven't seen in terms of this combination and troll hunters you know all of that aside is a great television show you have uh fun main characters uh kelsey Grammer is uh lends his voice beautifully to the show i, I thought it fit wonderfully um although at first the characters and the um the premise may seem kind of cliche or been there done that uh they quickly change it up and they quickly bring it uh down new new routes and i think that's because of really what they were able to do in terms of their runtime and, and you know and how how much they really had here to, to dig into and they created this world right they, they really got to dig deep a little bit they created this world of um you know the trolls and the troll hunters and it was fantastic and really, half, not even halfway into the series, I was hooked, right? Because it, it gave you that charm that um, you get with the DreamWorks movies, but was able to incorporate intrigue that you get with a lot of recent television shows that really you can't get as much with movies because there's not enough runtime. I'm not saying it, all movies there's no intrigue. That's not what I'm saying. I'm saying with a lot of television shows, it's easier to get uh, this kind of intrigue because of how much you're dedicating to it. Um, and that's how it felt like here. It combined the charm of DreamWorks movies with the intrigue um, that a lot of television shows can have, and especially this animation added. Um, the storytelling was great. I, I mean, the pacing was wonderful. They, they, like I said, they had 26 episodes. They knew where they wanted to go and how they wanted to get there, and they let their story kind of unfold. And um, between the storytelling, animation, the voice acting, um, 
really just everything. I, I can't say enough good things about, about this show. You guys need to see it if you like DreamWorks, even if you don't like DreamWorks. DreamWorks, to me, is okay. You know, it, it's average. Uh, could this show have been better? Probably. But this was a wonderful first foray into this kind of field, right? I mean, this, at least to me, is not something that we've seen before. Um, it feels like it at first because of DreamWorks movies and because of what we've come to expect with that type of image that type of experience right you're used to seeing this kind of animation this kind of at first generic kind of story the fun main characters you know the trolls uh it all feels like you've been there at first once you give it a few episodes and let it unfold you realize the the magic that you're actually seeing here and the charm that is troll hunters and I, I really, I can't say enough good things about this. If you guys have not seen Troll Hunters, I highly, highly recommend it. Uh, it's a great animated television show. I'm hoping they get a season two. I, they might have gone, I don't think they have yet. I think I would have read it. Um, but I'm really hoping they get a season two. And if not a season two, I hope this doesn't discourage them from continuing this type of uh, experience. With, with really, instead of, this felt like it could have been a movie, but they said, no, let's take a television show, see what we can do. In the future, they can um, really tell some interesting stories and really get the full potential out of the characters that DreamWorks creates. Um, a lot of characters in movies that you've seen before, especially with DreamWorks, you might have felt they had potential, but they didn't live it, uh, live up to it in the movie. I feel this is this is the way to go. And I think Troll Hunters was a fantastic first foray. So that's all I'm going to say about Troll Hunters. As you can tell, really loved it. Um, can't say enough good things about it. I hope you guys check it out. Uh, if, if nothing else, check out the first couple episodes. See if it's something you can get into. Like I said, it took a few episodes for me to really get hooked. But at, at first, I will say it was interesting, right, for what you're getting with, with uh, watching on Netflix and seeing this as the show it's just at first it, it's interesting but then it really hooks you after a few episodes so i highly recommend it check it out if you haven't already let me know if you've seen it down below let's talk about this i really want to talk about this with with uh you guys out there and uh subscribe because it takes around that much effort to do so and until next time you have been 